here we go. Trial. I'm at uh, Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway. Uh, first time I've ever been here. I'm not even sure if this uh, GoPro is going to work out very well. I got my Marlin 7. Just put the Rock Shocks Recon on it yesterday. So uh, not really going to be a lot of opportunity to give it a good go here. Uh, just because this is a pretty much a flat um, waterway here. But uh, it'll give me a little bite time. So looking forward to it. Like I said, not sure how this is going to work out. Never used this GoPro before. Brand new helmet too. Looks like I got everything locked up almost. I'm going to be heading that direction, which is north. So let me go. I don't know how this GoPro is going to work out, so my plans are to just let it roll. When it dies, it dies. I talked to my buddy, he said I just got to watch out for snakes on the trail here. There are some snakes. Oh, didn't set my Strava. Starting ride. Can't get started if you don't start your Strava. My bike around this. I'm still a new rider, y'all. All right. Oh. Well, here we go. Still going. Looks like I still got battery left too. All right, I think uh, I think this is where I'm gonna uh, turn around. I've been eight miles now, so I'll turn around. I'll give me a nice 16 mile ride. I'm gonna get a picture of my bike here. Got my bike. Got a bridge been working on getting it set up so I can take some pictures of it now I'm gonna head eight miles back that way to my car um, you can keep going that way 
I actually don't know how long the uh, this road goes. I guess it follows Tom Bigby for pretty much entire length. I'm not really sure what bridge this is that I'm underneath. I'm wondering if it's 350 maybe. I'm not sure. Ugh. Tell you what, I know it's not a top end bike. Uh, it is the Marlin 7, so it's the it's the highest Marlin bike. Honestly, I don't know if I did a good thing paying for the highest model since I've already replaced the shocks. Uh, I got the Rock Shocks Recon for $250 off of Worldwide Cyclery. Um, and then other than that, I've just replaced the, the pedals with some race face chesters and the, uh, the grips. I put some uh, race face gripplers on. Other than that, I hadn't done anything else to the bike. Uh, added this uh, 50 strong water bottle cage, and then now here I am wearing a uh, a uh, Osprey hydration pack. Like I mentioned before, Seth's Bikes Hack and Trails and Treads out of Tupelo, Mississippi. That's who I got the bike through. And then Seth, uh, he doesn't need any introduction. Um, he's been a lot of help, so. But anyway, so far I gotta say though I have enjoyed the bike. I think I've put about 40 miles on it so far. So not a whole lot of miles. But you know what, I'm getting there. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I've been riding with the guys up at Tom Bigby State Park um, from uh, Trails and Treads. I've been there twice now. And uh, I've really enjoyed that. Looking forward to going back some more. Um, I don't think there's anything else I'm going to do to this bike other than put that front shock on. Of course, I'd like to put a dropper post. Um, that's uh, it's not something I'm sure if I'll do. I'd have to run an external dropper post on here. Other than that, though, it's, um, it's a Marlin 7. You know, it's a 2020 Marlin 7. Um, it wasn't all that difficult to put the, the front shock on. Um, I will say that when I was setting the star nut inside the steer tube after I cut it down, I ended up breaking the uh, part tool. I think it's TNS-1. It's uh, it's just a tool to set that star nut. I ended up breaking it, so I called the guys at uh, Part Tools, and uh, they're sending me out a new part to, to replace the part I broke. So definitely a heads up, uh, shout out to Part Tools. Uh, they did a great job. But anyway, so far I've got to say I've enjoyed it. Like I said, I know it's not high dollar, high end bike, but for me, um, I bought what I could afford, and I'm going to use it. So, time to get back down there. Here we go. Maybe. Yep, according to Strava, we got 8.1 miles so far. So, bye bye, little spot. Here we go. All right, I wanted to stop here for just a second. I don't know if any of this will be usable, but I'm only about maybe a half a mile or so, no more than a mile to the uh, back to my car. And uh, this is a railroad bridge. Uh, you can actually see it from the highway up there. Uh, years ago when I was a kid, probably, I don't know, 25 years ago now, maybe a little more, we used to come down here and walk up that bridge and walk across the catwalk and jump down into the river. We used to call this vertigo. Um, it's way up there. There's no way I'd do it now. Um, but anyway, uh, it was uh, definitely an adrenaline rush jumping off of that thing. But uh, that's vertigo. 
I'm gonna get back down here to my car now. All right, guys, so uh, I made it back according to my uh, Strava, 16.2 miles, uh, 1.2 hours, or one hour, 20 minutes. We'll go ahead and finish that. Stopping right. So anyway, it looks like the uh, battery on my GoPro is almost dead. Kind of surprised it lasted this long. Um, I will say that when I came out here, my intentions were just to see if, um, if the GoPro even worked. Uh, I'm not even sure how this footage is going to turn out, uh, but I will say since it lasted as long as it did, I'm going to go home and see if I can get any video or any footage out of it. Go ahead and do a video. So, uh, like I said, uh, this was the Tom Bigby Waterway. Um, I got my bike here, my glasses. <laughs> I'm glad somebody didn't come and get those. Uh, they were expensive. But anyway, there it is, my Marlin uh, Trek 7. Um, definitely dirty. Uh, I gotta clean it up when I get home, but that's okay. This is definitely an easy ride. It was just all flat, um, so this was not really a technical ride at all. I just wanted to get uh, the marlin back out here since I just put those rock shocks on, just ride it a little bit, make sure that uh, nothing was um, obviously wrong. So far, it seems like everything's going good. Um, anyway, I will say that considering my GoPro seems to be working okay and if the footage turns out okay, I think I am gonna try and do some more videos. I will say that if anybody's watched my videos, um, one thing that they know me for is I have long videos. Um, I will say that I'm going to try and start cutting those down. Uh, my goal is to get it at five minutes or less. However, um, if I do continue to do these for a while, I'll be okay if I can keep it under 10. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.